All right, it's time to get the glove on because we're not just seeing this time, we're going to do as well. Wow, I'm scared because uh, <laughs> Butcher Ryan DeHaan that just got out of the his... scimitar. That is a traditional staking knife and it is a 12 inch blade and it allows us to actually cut through large roasts. Wow, and what are we going to be helping you with today? Well, I'm going to go grab a tenderloin for you there and we're going to teach you how to tie it and we're going to get you maybe even try a first cut and see how you like it. All, All right, right, let's, let's do, it. do it. So what the heck? What do we do with it to make it look all pretty like it does in the case? Well, first off, we gotta make sure we get all the extra trimmings off, so just watch yourself there. We do have sharp knives. He has knives in his pockets. Can we actually see the, sure. the just the accoutrements of the business? Is that Kevlar? Or? We actually, this is the newest material. It is known as Hex Armor. It is a titanium embedded Kevlar apron. We've been talking to Mark a lot about philosophy. Uh, tell us about your philosophy for this space and what you're hoping for. Our philosophy is to make sure that the neighborhood is here to come in and be able to afford to buy the high-end meats that are out there and give them a good quality, fresh product. Dude, the prices are... I They're mean, crazy. <laughs> they are crazy. You guys are crazy. It's like, you know, I feel like an ad, but your prices are crazy. No, they really are, and I think yeah. this will welcome the neighborhood, but also make it a destination spot like Save on Meats used to be. Yeah, and it is, and we actually even have a full plan that we're going to actually be making our own charcuterie in here, right? We're also going to be doing all our own fresh sausages. We actually just got our grinder just up and running today. How exciting is this... I I mean, for you as a professional, to be able to have not only this facility, but upstairs as well, the cutting room, and, and just to have all this at your disposal and be able to, to indulge in your art, you know, to make sausage, to do it's, charcuterie. It's, it's absolutely going to be amazing because we actually have an entire commissary kitchen upstairs that will be working along with us to make pâtés, terrines. We even have terrines and duck confit made right in-house. We also have an actual uh, deli window that it's going to be producing, like, sandwiches for about $1.50 to $2 a sandwich. And how welcome right? is that here? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, this is our other problem. Like we, we also know some of the people don't want to come into some of these new high-end establishments. Yeah. So it's we want to be able to reach out to the actual locals in the area as a quick stop by. Okay, okay. let's get let's to practice the practice your art. So basically, what are we going to do? Talk us through this again. That Chateaubriand, the actual the filet okay. mignon on the tail, which we will actually turn over and actually create a larger steak if we wish. Okay. Oh. How important Just, are your knives? In I was going to say situation? using a nice dull knife. <laughs> this is not a dull knife, but I can literally shave with this knife if I wanted to. Wow. It is that sharp. So I just want to clean it up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually tie this up. Okay. Right? And so what we do is we turn this so it's nice and close to the edge. Okay. Right? We make sure that this is folded up nice in here because it's, we just want to make sure all that fat is out of here. And what we start off is in the thickest part. Okay. Right? And we take it, we turn, and then we quickly turn and tie it. Oh, slip come knot. on now. <laughs> this is even fast. <laughs> <laughs> that is the quickest I slip knot I've like ever that. seen. And then we just take the knife and make it. And again, you made it look really easy. How important is the tying, uh, well, you know, to get it cooked properly? It is most important, actually, and that's why a lot of places, you know, they, they try to do these new netting, and you really want the juices to retain within the actual meat. Right. So what we do is we slide it under, and we go about an inch over. Go for it. See if you can do it. I don't know what I did, but it. it <laughs> no, not even close. I'm gonna so show not. you once more. I'll show you once more. So what we do not. is we come over and we leave this one on our finger, okay. right? What I'm gonna do is stick the other finger and I pull it and twist. <laughs> I don't think I can do that, but I can braid your hair. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What are your cooking instructions? I like cu cutting it in steaks. I don't like doing it in a whole roast. I really like medium rare fillets. Yeah. Right? And basically, I'm going to sear it a really high skillet for about a minute and a half each side. Do you put oil on it? No. No, you I just actually let it go. dry off all my steaks. And then I will salt it. I literally just put like just straight up butcher salt, culture, uh, kosher salt. And then basically, I take it really high, minute and a half each side. Then I put it into the oven for about two and a half minutes a side. And what's the purpose of searing right. before you put it in the oven? Retains the juices. Right? It gives you that nice flavor. It seals it right up. When we cut a tenderloin, you can't just simply cut. You actually have to support the steak as you cut. Because if you don't do that, it's not going to retain its roundness. Do you want to take a try? Mm -hmm. Hold it. Go again. All right. And right about there. Watch your fingers. 
and straight down and pull through. Oh my gosh, oh, you know bad. what? I need new knives. You know <laughs> One more thing we didn't talk about. You guys have a rotisserie for chicken getting set up in the front. Yep. That'll be another sort of meeting point for people as, as you go Definitely. along as well. They're going to see that lovely, freshly roasted chicken as well. We know a lot of people in the neighborhood, even some of the singles and new people in the condo yeah. area, they don't have a lot of time, right? They're yeah. busy folks. Nice they want to have something ready to go. But tell us about the seafood. I actually have fresh local Pacific Ocean seafood. We have actually brought in from steelhead fillets. We have nice sockeye. We have fresh halibut fillets. Then we go into some of the shellfish and actually like the fresh shrimp. And it's all from the local coast. You will probably have a look of amazement like Michael and I did when you see the prices of stuff like this. So affordable. And of course, you can come have a great meal as well. We're going to go to the diner right now. I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. <laughs>